Brian Cameron, and that really cool sound was brought to you by Gizmotron 2.0. I've got it here on my Sefton Infinitum Custom, and I'm just having a blast with this thing. It's plugged in all the time, has to be plugged in, no internal battery. So you're going to need an extra plug in on your pedal board, but if you got that, you're good to go. This thing makes so many cool sounds. Uh, that was clean with some delay. I'm going to try it with a little bit of drive and see what happens. And now with a lot of drive. Okay. As you can tell, I haven't been playing with it long, but I'm definitely playing with it. Uh, I, I think where this thing really excels, though, is in these patty uh, keyboard ambient type sounds that are becoming popular with guitarists now. And uh, if you put on a little delay, put on a little reverb, uh, and just use it, it comes out sounding kind of like this. So the way it works, you've got an on-off switch here in the back. You've got these little metal feet that are on screws so you can adjust the height. And as you can see here, that's a tab for some double sticky tape. You can also tell what kind of strings I use. But the rest of it is the adjustment here for the individual keys uh, show you over here the adjustment for the individual keys you widen them and narrow them as you need uh, to get it right I've been playing with it I've been adjusting it and it, it does make a difference the height setting uh, the distance from the string and the cool thing is the folks at Gizmotron really do a good job of helping coach you through and if you're a tinkerer like i am this is just a ton of fun so thank you all for watching and uh, i'm gonna leave you with a little more noise <laughs>